Hi friends, uh, in this video I am going to explain you how to install uh, ODI 12C, this is the latest version 12.2.1.4 uh, in Windows uh, operating system. So I have already downloaded this software from Oracle website and I have extracted this file and this is the jar file so you have to trigger this jar file. So if you want to trigger this jar file you have to uh, execute in command line for that you need to open a command prompt in as a administration login user id run as administrator because it's a jar file and we are extracting this jar file so copy this uh, url So if you want to uh, trigger this jar file first we need to trigger through Java so for that we need to change this path to Java so we know uh, we, we change this path to currently it's a software available location right but we should not do that so we need to go to Java bin directory so this path Java option jar and that jar file we need to call that jar file that is fmw this jar file enter this so because the java installed in this location in bin directory the java file will be available so we are extracting that uh, java jar extracted file right so for that we need to change to the location current location should be jar and uh, you need to use this command java space minus jar and you, were, you need to call your jar file where you have downloaded that jar file so it will take some time to extract the file it will take some time to extract the file so most of the time uh, while installing it in your local system you will get confused like as I change this path right default so in command line I changed my current software available location no that available location we should copy and uh, you should be changed to avail current location should be as uh, java bin directory the java bin directory you need to change that there we are triggering this your jar file this is our jar file so wait a few more uh, minutes it is uh, taking uh, like it is extracting this jar file and it will store into temp file and the log here you can see is a log available in local user temp folder that's aura install and the today's data and time you can see this this is the complete log this is the latest version available in uh, oracle website you can download from oracle website directly So I'm going to verify my system, current system uses. It's almost, uh, it's 8GB RAM, almost of 
5.7 GB memory is using because I have already installed Oracle database so the database and the browsers so so here you can see that other uh, it is verifying CPU and uh, is passed and it is verifying uh, swap space is passed and it is verifying temp space because all are available in my C folder so that's a C directory is having more space the other pass then uh, it is launching the installation let's hide this task bar So if anything is failed, like you will here, you will get error, and this command will be closed because if any RAM or any uh, space is very less in your installation location, this all those parameters should be passed. Okay. Then after that, it will launch that installation uh, wizard-based window. This uh, Oracle Data Integrated 12C installation. So if you have a good RAM in your laptop or desktop, so it will be more fast and uh, you can install the Oracle 12C, that's ODA 12C, uh, less than 20 minutes or less than 15 minutes. But my system is 8GB RAM and uh, already that's utilizing my Oracle database and other uh, pre-installed softwares. This is the wizard based where we can install uh, Oracle data integrated, latest version, this is the latest version. Click on next, click on next and uh, skip auto updates. You can use this, you can uh, skip auto updates and this is the installation location default. It will go to install uh, your ODA into C directory, Oracle middleware and Oracle home. Then click on next. If you want to change this location, you can change this. If you have any uh, predefined location if you don't want to install the default location you can install that that's uh, it's optional you can choose this installation location and click on next and this is the installation types standard installation and enterprise installation so if you use a standard installation there you can see the components you will be getting this called as SDK this component default both installation you will be getting knowledge models also both uh, installations you will be getting a ODA studio it's a client where you can uh, design your mappings and the standalone agent and if you use uh, enterprise installation uh, you will be getting additional two agents you will be getting additional two agents that I will show here if you select this here you can see this j 2 w agent okay and other features this uh, middleware features here you can see this features you will get if you use enterprise if you choose standard this standalone agent you will be getting this is only difference standalone installation or enterprise installation you will be getting middleware that's a j 2 w agent additional if you select enterprise installation so i'm selecting enterprise installation click on this so uh, repository creation utility definitely will be getting this and uh, this next time after completion of this installation i will show how to use this repository creation click on next i'm selected uh, enterprise installation and uh, you can uh, skip this and install so it will take at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes this complete installation because it is validating and uh, copying the files uh, then generating libraries setting up and the saving inventory this post installation scripts this complete uh, process it will take at least uh, 10 to 15 minutes 
and if you have a good ram and a good cpu it will take less than that So it's saving inventory setup is done and uh, it will take some time to save inventory file. So it's done click on next or click on finish. So this is all the components has been installed okay and uh, this is the difference j2w agent is installed because we selected as enterprise installation so click on finish now this is completed just open body studio here so we install in uh, oracle middleware this is your ODI installation location here this ODI studio will be their client and ODI agent is a standalone agent this is the standalone agent configuration you have to do here and the oracle common this is the plugins where it's default you will get okay now this is the configuration where you can uh, configure this So apparently both I am opening. So ODI Studio, this is your ODI Studio because I have not configured any ODI agent. So that's why it's empty here you can see. So I am not at created any ODI repository. This is a work repository or master repository. I have not created any of this. That's why it's empty is here. You can find the latest uh, about this tool like what is the version this is the latest build here you can see this is the version number and other properties okay so like this we can install ODA to LC in a windows environment so once it's installed you can uh, configure RCU you can configure RCU this is a domain creation where we called this config file you can I'm not doing this as of now because I'm so if you want to create a repositories you can go to RCU folder there you can trigger your RCU and uh, 
is the SDK okay is the ODA credential tool is the SDK is all the agent and other files here you can see zero double e and the, this is as I sh shown you regarding your ODA client okay this is the other config files there you can configure ODA configure where you related to Java and uh, other memory parameters cell parameters and uh, here all the plugins will be available uh, VLST and the J developer libraries and RCU This is our ODI. Then, if we go to Oracle Common, there so remaining config and uh, if you want to run environment related so all uh, files here you can see this is uh, a common environment and config and uh, VLST these all are uh, same for win if it is uh, look configuring at windows you can find windows same thing for Linux is sh file VLST also so these all a common uh, use uh, like using config files for your environment okay this is a middleware related and uh, web logic server this is all the web logic server uh, related components this is all the if you want to configure uh, like restarting services stopping services uninstalling node installing node these are all the configuration files here you can say okay so thank you for watching my videos i will uh, explain you another video how to create a uh, repositories and uh, how to configure other uh, middleware components this is already available uh, in my portal so thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel. Thank you very much.